The Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles is today's column written by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists and collaborators. This week's contribution is from Michael Poland, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey and scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Yellowstone is a very active place in terms of seismicity. Typically the University of Utah Seismograph Station, which is responsible for the operation of the Yellowstone Seismic Network and analysis of seismic data, places 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes annually in the region. The past three years have seen seismic activity at the lower end of that spectrum, with fewer than about 2,000 earthquakes located in 2018, 2019, and 2020, in 2019 there were only about 1,200 seismic events located. In 2021, Yellowstone looks back to the higher than average end, with 2,773 earthquake sites. The biggest event of the year was the M3.6 earthquake that occurred beneath Yellowstone Lake on July 16. The event was part of an earthquake beneath Yellowstone Lake that covered 825 earthquake sites. A swarm is a sequence of earthquakes that occur around the same place in succession, and average about 50% of all earthquakes in Yellowstone as part of a swarm. In 2021, there will be a total of 27 earthquake clusters, and these cover about 65% of earthquake locations throughout the year. Most Yellowstone earthquakes are very small, more than 90% are in the M0-2 to range. In 2021, there will be 10 M3 events located in the Yellowstone region, and over 150 M2 events. These numbers are fairly typical for Yellowstone in any given year. The seismic abundance is largely due to the interaction of groundwater with existing faults. Two things that are abundant in the Yellowstone region geyser activity is relatively muted in 2021 compared to previous years. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, experiences 20 major aerial eruptions throughout the year. Impressive considering that the geysers often experience very few outbursts over years to decades. This number is insignificant compared to 2018, when there were 32 eruptions, and 2019 and 2020, which had 48 eruptions each. Steamboat geysers' detonation rate may decrease gradually decrease in activity. Hopefully the geysers will continue to appear in 2022. <laughs>